Welcome to Global Automatics. This video shall take you through the process of building up the Premiere Slide 100. These are the parts supplied. Select the door hanging bracket, clamp plates and top rail. To fit the door hanging bracket, slide the clamp plates into the top rail as shown. Fit this bracket onto the bolts and line up as appropriate. Tighten the clamp bolts by hand, then tighten. Now take the bracket and wheels, raise the washer and slot into place. Fit the two supplied bolts by hand, then tighten. Fit the belt clamp as shown and tighten. Repeat this process for the opposite side. Slide the top rail onto the sliding door track. Adjust the anti riser to touch the top of the track. Slide in the end stops and bring the top rail to the edge position and tighten the end stops into place. Repeat this process for the other side. Select the required amount of nuts. This will vary depending on the operator length. Slide them into place on the inner rails of the sliding door track. There should always be two extra bolts on the top left and one extra bolt on the top right. Roughly space the bolts as shown. Each strap will require two, one at the top and one at the bottom. Select the motor gearbox. To fit the motor gearbox, align as appropriate, insert all the bolts. And then tighten. Ensure the connector sits to the right. Select the Premier Slide control box and two bolts. Line up the control box so the motor gearbox wire fits comfortably. Install the bolts and tighten. Connect the motor gearbox to the control panel. Finally, fit the single cable clamp strap as shown. The cable straps ensure the cables do not interfere with the mechanism.
select the remaining cable straps and bolts and screw into place. Now, select the canopy arm with the two bolts and a crosshead screw. Fit in a clear space in the same way as you fitted the cable straps. The canopy arm makes it easier to service the unit. Now select the idler wheel and four bolts. Fit into place as shown and tighten. Select the belt. To install, clamp one end into the belt clamp, wrap around the idler wheel, run up to the motor gearbox, line up the belt again with the clamp and cut to size. Fit the other side of the belt into the clamp and then tighten the bolts. Tension the belt by turning the idler wheel tension adjuster in a clockwise direction. Check the tension, then lock the nuts and the tension bolts behind the wheel. Check the belt moves smoothly. Select the end plate and install at the end with three fixings per plate. Repeat for the other side. Finally, select and fit the hook on canopy and fix as shown. For more information on this and other products, visit www.global-automatics.com.